start. Let's start the meeting. Can I have a motion to uh, uh, start the meeting? So move, move. Oh. Okay. Chardo, you're going to second at this time? Second. Okay. Thank you. All right. Roll I, just, call. I need, yeah, thank you. Sorry. Sorry, Beth. Okay. I'll be quiet, Paul. That's okay. Uh, who do we have here tonight? We got, I don't see them all here. So, okay. You have three. I have three, right. Okay, so and, um, roll call. Andy? Yes. Chardul? Yes. Alexander? Is it Alexander's on it? Uh, Alex is, uh, uh, that's Alex of Hadley Media. Oh, I'm sorry. So you're, you're done. There's just the three of you. Just you the, and... Oh, just the three of us. Okay, I thought maybe there's somebody else in here. Yeah, okay, sorry, my bad. Okay, well, we're off to a good start then. Okay. Um, well, I, you know, I was hoping to have more members of the committee here tonight because the purpose was to kind of go through the different budgets from the different um, uh, uh, expense centers and, and departments and make a decision which ones we wanted to meet with and which ones, because they're just minimal increases, um, we would pass on. Um, mm -hmm. I know David was fine with that, and I uh, assume the other members were also. So we have enough to keep this moving forward. So why don't, well, I guess what I'd like to see is if you could pull up the different um, departments for us. Um, is that possible, Linda, so that we could see? They're not really in, I mean, individual, I thought you were, uh, David had suggested that you were going, you know how I sent you the full budget with the individual line by line? That that yes. one shows you, the one I sent oh, you okay. yesterday. Can you pull that up you. on the screen then? Uh, so, uh, in last night's meeting, it was mentioned we'd be meeting with uh, Scott. Is that not yeah, the case we, tonight? Yeah, we put that off because okay. we, the original intent from the committee was to just go through and decide which ones we would meet with and which ones okay. we didn't feel was necessary to take up their time because there's minimal changes that, you know, don't really require them to put in, you know. Um, a right. I, I, I thought the big three were definitely going to, are were, we were meeting with anyway. Yes. Um, Yes, but I don't think because of the ability ability of time tonight, it was uh, it was going to keep this a short meeting because of availability. Okay. As you can see, we only have three people. Sure. So I I wouldn't want um, a three person um, committee to you know make a decision on a major department. Okay. Um. So can you, uh, Linda? Can you pull that? I'm, I'm working on it. If you okay. could just talking, Sorry. I'm having trouble getting to me. I will. Uh... No problem. <laughs> Don't stare at me. I'll okay. get there. Okay. Um, well, you broke these down in what you sent today at uh, at uh, shortly uh, well, this morning at 1035. I appreciate you sending it out uh, earlier. Um, I didn't get a chance to look at them beforehand, but you, you sent us individual department budgets anyway? Is that, or, or are we going to look I, at I only the sent. I only sent the DPW because I thought at the time that you were going to be meeting tonight, but a decision was made later in the week that you did, you were, uh, finance committee wasn't ready. So we're going to look at the one you presented last night? Theoretically. Why am I having trouble? So is that the, is that the one that's headed FY? Uh, year to date 2025 expenditures, or is it the? Yes, it's the, headed. The, yeah. Recommended, recommended, yeah. Recommended budget. Re recommended budget. Okay. Um, uh, I found it from last night anyway. Yeah, I, I just have to get it to a location that I can reach it sure. to okay. share with you. That's the trouble I'm having. Okay. I, you know, my usual. All right. No, no problem. Um, <laughs> Meanwhile, do you have uh, how did you feel about the thing the the presentation last night? Was that what um, was that yeah, helpful? It was <laughs> helpful, and it was helpful that we're so far ahead of it the way we used to be. I mean, the last couple of years, it's been I know it's been hard for you guys to get um, far enough out so that there's a little bit more time allowed for us to go over and meet with people. Um, and uh, it feel, it feels like we're back under the schedule we should be on. To allow enough time, so I do appreciate that getting caught up. Um, I'm clear now. I'm clearing my desktop, so I think that I can um, do the share. Access it. So I need to go into sharing. Right. Oh no! Host disabled sharing 
uh, is is Alex on? Alex, are you there? Says he is. Yeah. Yeah. So the mic go off for a second. Alex, are you able to? Uh, oh, let let me share. There he is. He's opened. Ah, thank you. Uh, recommended budget. Yeah, that's it. There. Do you see expenditures? It says now. It hasn't gone on yet. Okay. It's coming. We see the. Uh... It looks like it's spinning to open. Oh. All right. Maybe, me... maybe double click it again. Okay. I'm going to stop share that one just so I'm. All right. Let me start again. Okay, is that on? Not yet. No. Hold control to select. Started sharing, yep. There you go. So your desktop. How about that? Is that sharing? It's on. I see it. You don't see it yet? No. <laughs> oh. I don't know why. You have multiple monitors, Linda? Yes. Is that a, you got to yeah. change focus. You got to change focus to the uh, that you're sharing. You got to select that. If that file That's is right. already open, re do a new share with that file already open. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to, I'm back on one. Yeah, don't don't yeah. don't don't close that file out and then create a new share to in Zoom and then select that window. How's that? There you go. Yes, success. Thanks, Andy. You always seem to okay. do <laughs> Okay. Good. So, so if you can zoom in just a little bit, we're just gonna go down these lines here, right? We'll start with general government. Sure. Um, <sighs> Zoom. All right. Lower I mean, right. lower right, way down the lower right corner. Over to the right. Add, no, 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 lower no, right, down, down the at the bottom. Lower right. She, you got the magnifying glass plus and minus, minus in the lower right. There you go. All right, let me get rid of this stuff over here. Okay. Ta -da! Can you still see, can you see all of the general government now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All righty, is that big enough or you want more? One more? I would go bigger. Yes. I'm cheating. I have uh, the version you shared last night is uh, magnified on my big screens. Right. Okay, That's which awesome. is fine. Which is fine. But so okay. So there we are, general government. Uh you take it away with what you can see, Paul. Okay. So basically, uh, if I read this correctly, the general government we have a sum total is the change for the entire category is thirteen thousand dollars under the request. Correct. Okay. And in terms of any individuals, the select board is up 15,000. Yes. Yes? Yes. And is that clerk support or? Well, it's 13,000 below, below the, select board. the town and, and admin column, right? In right. the town. Yeah, but in the in the individual departments, the there are two. There's there are a couple that are are down, which is the reserve fund's been reduced by thirty five thousand. So that's a you know an accounting uh, move, and there are only really two, not even really significant, which is fifteen thousand in the select board side, and there's a uh, eight thousand six hundred for the assessor's office is the only other 
significant increase there. Um, explain this to me, the town admin column, what, what the request I'm guessing is request, but is the admin column, is that what was negotiated or that was a, or is that okay. what you're proposing? Um, that's, that's a, I mean, it's, that's, that is the town administrator's recommendation. Rec your recommendation. Okay. Yeah. This so I just want to just, yeah. And I just want to clarify it. As I said last night, the cuts that you're seeing aren't, uh, except for the reserve fund are not request are the requests that were um, asked the, we cut those if you look at their um, the majority of the budgets uh, for the FY24 that's those were not touched it was just the additional requests that they asked for which we asked them to do repeat that one more time to repeat it so yeah, the the town administrator is my recommendation after the requests came in. So we had to make cuts to match the revenue. So those cuts are from the additional increases that some of the departments requested. It was not from their budget, their level budget. So if I could explain the columns then, 24 is what was voted, and um, the first green one for 24, the one we're in, and then actuals year to date through December 31st. Then the next column, the first blue one, is what all the departments asked for, really requested. Those are the ones that came in. Their request increase was one point five something million dollars. And then, then town administrator uh, to keep it under a million dollars of which was the the de the amount that's available for use in the budgets this year, she had, uh, we had to keep the increases under a million. So there were a number of cuts there. So what's in the second blue column here are this is the town administrator's final recommendations for that budget. So what's over in the change 24 to 25 then is actually town administrator less 24. So it's these, these four two. And it's always interesting to to me to find out things that are so clear to me aren't clear to others. So this is always good information for me that it's it's not necessarily as clear to others as. And then I I use that and try and make it better for next time. So anyways, the the final column there would be what the increase is in twenty five as per town administrator's recommendations, as compared to twenty four. Okay, so. The net decrease in general government is $13,000. The bulk of that decrease is the money, you know, in order to meet what, what we consider the needs, the necessary uh, amounts in there, in the budget, it did result in decreasing the, um, the reserve fund from 100 this year to 65. Well, you generally don't even use half of it, although it's really good to have, but we're just giving less of a cushion at this point. So that's 35,000 down going from 100 to 65. Um, you asked about select board, that's contract increase and increases in the board docs website. Okay. Um, uh, town accountant is the, um, Auditor, the increase, that's a contract, the three-year contract we have, it goes up a thousand a year. That's the auditor. Uh the assessor is a combination. Is this what you want me to be doing? Well, we didn't we don't need to go line by line. I mean, I don't uh, because there's small amounts. I mean, I never just okay. all that I just wondered what they were. Then uh, all right. So yeah, anything you want, I'll just wait to be yeah. asked. I mean, okay. I, I I think it makes it clear that okay, so essentially the first column of green is compared to the 25 first column of, of uh, blue, and then the net difference is the last column there. Correct? Between the 24 voted? And Before the 20, between yeah. the 24 voted and the 25 recommended. Right. Yeah. And then, the, and then the town administrator in the second blue column has made some adjustment based on either knowledge or just trimming out and moving things around here. You know, to, in other words, you've made a decision to reduce the, you know, take a a bit out of the um, reserve fund because you know they haven't used it in the past, so it seems like a secure place. So that got us thirty-five thousand dollars out of our million-dollar overage, or to get us only a million dollars over. Okay, correct. Fine. Yes, Does everybody uh, else follow that? So her, yeah. Her, yeah. yeah. I, I her do have one. 
a, a question, and it, it is looking back a little bit uh, because uh, my recollection is a little foggy on uh, what the select board increase from the 2023 actual to the 2024 voted um, when it went up. Uh, so, you know, looks like um, 40, 50 grand, uh, 40, 40, yeah, 48 grand. Yeah. What? You're asking me what? From 23 to 24? Yeah. What uh, item 122? 122 from 23. Some of that is actual, but also the last three years, some of the, uh, we are consolidating some of the expenses like utilities. So that she'd have to go back to that um, budget. But just what, what I'm guessing is the last three years, we've taken some initiative to put to uh, combine utilities, uh, things that we were each department was uh, was uh, paying for separately. We just put it all under the select board. So I'm guessing okay. that would be part of it. Yeah, there, was a, there was a merger of the town administrator and the select board budget, but th that should have been across the board. So here's the key differences in, in there, but from 23 to 24 is um, we did have 20, 15, 23, about $24,000 of that then would be the, stipends that were put into the select board budget to cover um, the, the the finance manager part of my uh, my job and the risk manager part of, of Susan's job in the collector's office. We had other salaries that went up by another ten twelve thousand dollars that became the whole uh, that this has become a holding spot for um, salaries that might be needed generally, such as when you have a count, the changeover and council on aging and you need to pay the prior COA director to come in and work and overlap a bit with the, with the new one. We don't put that kind of money, additional money, we don't put it into the COA budget because it might not be needed. We put it in here. We put it in the select board. That way, if it's needed in a different department than COA, it's available for use there. We have that same kind of thing going on the current year. Uh, with changes that may, with uh, additional uh, amount that might be needed in a transition um, in the in the assessor's office. So that's available. That sits in that budget, and that was doubled from 23 to 24. Um, uh, tuition meeting dues went up because, again, the, because uh, there was an increase in the usage. It was down quite a bit in earlier years. Carolyn's come on and encouraged the select board. What you have three select board members going down to the MMA conference this year and the town administrator. That was a record, right, Carolyn? Um, and these, this is an important thing that they get down there for the two or three days now that we have a little bit more of the funding back. Increase in the uh, in the website, going to the new website that we had, that's part of the increase too there, Andy. Um, and that kind of covers it. It gets us up to like 40 to 50 and the others are just little littler things. Does that cover the main ones? Is that? Yeah. Yes. That? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So... Do we have uh, anybody here think we need to have a more in-depth meeting with the admin area for general government? Okay. So, right. All right. So, uh, why don't we vote on each department on whether or not we're going to meet with them or, or require a meeting? Okay. And if they want to request a meeting to talk to us about something, we'd be happy to do that. They, I don't think you need a vote for that. You don't. Okay, no. fine. All right. Yeah, great. So public safety... Public safety, I would say we need to meet with. It's it's a large budget and it's one that I think we should be more in depth with. Anybody disagree? It's part of the big three. Okay. Uh, education, same thing. Public works, same thing. Uh, we're into human services. I think that uh, just if I could say, because I had a conversation with David Phil today, uh, just just for you to keep in mind, he was thinking maybe not needing to meet with uh, the school because it's just a single oh. number and they have that under control. I mean, you are always welcome to do that. I just wanted to tell you, relay to you what um, right. our conversation was today. Okay. All right. Anybody else disagree with that? What's he? He said what? He 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 was saying that we we could skip education and what was the single amount there? Their increase. Is contractual they, 45? Right. Yeah, they requested a little over 300. Uh, we give them about half of what they asked for. And they, at the moment, they seem like they're going to try and make that work. 
So they may turn around and be the ones to request a meeting with you if they disagree right. with you. But generally, uh, he, David uh, felt this afternoon that if they were agreeable to that, that rather than go through their entire budget, the, the, we would just let that one go. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think we should get at least some detail on, on what those increases are. I, I don't know if we need to meet with them, but I'd like to see some, at least see something before I mean, it's just a number. It's hard to tell exactly what the nuance is behind that number. All right. I'd be okay with the meeting and just have them come in and it doesn't have to be very long just to kind of fill us in. Yeah, they do have public hearings on their budget. They're required to uh, have public hearings. And um, so if you want the full, the full presentation of it, we can ask Annie uh, that ask the school to send the, the date of that. And that would, that maybe, um, maybe no. You want the school budget date? So can I just give you a point of, uh, just a point of reference here with the schools? Um, uh, they technically do not have to give us a breakdown of their budget. Annie would definitely, if, she, if you ask, she absolutely would. Um, so I just want to, you know, we can make that request. I'm sure she's going to grant it, but just so you know that. that yeah, that, and, and quick little simple math shows it to be uh, less than 2%, it's, uh, 1.8% uh, uh, increase. She's extremely, extremely gracious with her yeah. budget. Um, can I, Paul, Dan has yeah. has either a question or sure. something I'm to sorry. say. Hold on, let me see if I can get the Zoom side up. Okay, go ahead. Dan? Uh, yeah, I think you might want to wait until next week when you have the full budget book. Okay. Before you start scheduling departments. I mean, you know, public works and police yeah. fire, you're going to look right. at those, but you might want to wait to see, there might be questions in individual budgets that you might have that you could look at them before your next meeting okay. when you get the books next week and say, well, gee, we'd like to maybe look at somebody in general government or somebody in culture and recreation. Okay. Because it's kind of tough when you just got the total number and not right. the breakdown. Right. All right. Fair enough. When are we going to get the books, Carolyn? So you're going to get the, so what I would suggest is we're planning to have the books all ready for next week, but I would still just for, um, to keep us on schedule, since you know for sure you're going to meet with public safety um, and I'm assuming you're going to be DPW, I think we should schedule, start to schedule those. And then okay. once you see the books, you can decide which other ones um you okay. want to add on to, but we can at least start next week with one of your big hitters. Okay. Well, we had public works on tonight uh, where, that we postponed in order to have a general discussion. We could uh, see about getting them back next week. Yep. If that's, uh, if Scott can do that. Well, I'll check with him. Yeah. And if he can't, we could go with, um, I assume, uh, public safety if, if the chief, if the chiefs are available. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody object to that? What? Okay. And as I suggested in my email, even within public works, you don't necessarily want to meet with them on cemetery and snow and ice. Right. These ones. Okay. Right. All right. right. Just focus on the biggies. The, the big ones. Right. And well, that was yep. the idea was to eliminate a lot of the little ones that are just, you know, they are what they are and there's not much change there. So save them time and us time. Okay. And, uh, Okay, so where were we? Human services. Again, uh, based on Dan's suggestion, do we want to wait on going through these departments and make a decision once we have the books, people? The, the numbers aren't going to change, just, um, just a detail level. It, it, there's, they're going to be just as, as okay. small. All right. Well, uh, so okay. is uh, just just so I'm clear on the process here. You you made the recommendations. Is there going to be, um, it, it's almost implied there might be some pushback in some areas uh, for their requests, or uh, pretty I, much. I don't I don't suspect that there's going to be pushback oh. from the department heads. I think you're gonna you're gonna want to meet with those that you have more questions about. So that sure. right. I mean yeah. we need to make a recommendation on these budgets ultimately to the to the town meeting. And I think that the ones that have major changes or, or items that 
you know, either need our support or comment on um, that to help at town meeting for people to know where we stand. Okay. So anything in human services need explaining? I don't think the numbers. I don't think so. That doesn't. I, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Culture and recommend and uh, recreation. Well, the library is the only one with a significant increase of any kind. Yeah. And oh. right. And I, I just sent him an email tonight. That was actually an oversight. Um, that I we a, a line did not get uh, moved down. Uh, I hate to do this, you know, to you when I haven't even had it. I mean, at this meeting when I we haven't even had a conversation, but it's something I caught what one hour ago, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just um, this has been a it's been a lot of work the last couple of weeks. Let's see. Um, that's coming down. I, I'm I'm just trying to get that on my screen. Um, that's going to come down to an eleven thousand five hundred dollar increase recommended as a as opposed to a twenty. So that budget is going to come down nine thousand dollars. Okay. So, and okay. as I said, I just got an email out to him. So I'm okay. treading on thin ice here. Okay. Based on that, does anybody feel a need to meet with them to discuss it? Or we can make that decision later when we see the detail. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how he handles it. Okay. Yeah, let's see how he handles it. And and any department head, whether it's an increase or a decrease, okay. is welcome to uh, to come to the finance committee. And and I think David has made that clear. Okay, that's fine. All right, debt. Yep. Well, well that's like me. The... You you want that explained? I'll tell you right. Now. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, uh, that to the dollar that increases the did it is the increase in the debt exclusion amount so to the extent that this is increased by two hundred forty three thousand five hundred fifty seven dollars the revenues were likewise a cre uh, increased by exactly the same amount and it goes on top of the regular taxation so it's a wash it's covered that's what a debt exclusion does okay so it's really as far as the basic uh going from year to year um it the uh the budget is um, other than the debt exclusion, it's um, level funded. Thank you. Okay, and then we have retirement and the benefits. OPEB, we were going to go up ten thousand. We'd already tried to. We already had set that up previous years. We yeah. Well, this is the idea is go from one seventy to one eighty. We went and now to one ninety. Um, that's our, the new plan. And so I did Yep. until, until the policy okay. changed, that's right. what I put in. That's fine. So, uh, 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 clarification then, how come the, um, requested went from 180 to 200 and then back down to 190? Well, that's me. I, I thought I'd put in for the 200 and put a little bit more in until I saw what the bottom line was and thought, well, we we can't go up that much. We're going to stick to ten. I was hoping to go up twenty, but we're nope. Appreciate the effort. I, I appreciate the effort. Just wanted to figure out where that came from. So. Okay. All right. <laughs> do, do we have an estimate of that of the liability? What that liability is? Yes, I will forward you. We we recently, as in two weeks ago, got the uh, actuarial report back, and I will send you all a copy of it. Um, the one who understands it best is Molly Keegan on select board. And, um, and she's been, I think would be nice, uh, maybe at select board when, when you have some time, Carolyn, we'll get that booked in for a short presentation on the, on the OPEB situation. Mm -hmm. But, um, we're, we're chipping away at it. And I think we're somewhere in the six or 7 million. I can't say off the top of my head, somewhere in there is what the, outs uh, what the liability is. That's the outstanding liability or the total life liability? The unfunded liability. Unfunded, okay. Unfunded liability. Yeah. It's, it's six million. I believe that's where it is now. It's always a, it's a moving target, Shardul. Even when we put more money in, the liability goes because we're anticipating the new retirees and retirements and the increases in the, um, in the costs that we pay to them. Um, so it's... Um, it's 
yeah, it's it's adjusted every year, and I haven't uh, being seeing as the report came in right in the midst of working on this budget, I have not been able to spend the time with it. I would other I was would want to, and I'll I'll uh, that's why I want to forward it to you. And there's a nice cover letter that um, explains um, the kind that answers the questions that you're asking. And is that like um, is it broken up future years exactly what those amounts are going to be? Or is it just the total, let's say, you know, based on based based on some number, I guess, or based it's, on the accurate actuarial like lifespans and all that stuff. Yeah. It, um, well, it's a snapshot in time right now, but it is project definitely projecting ahead as well, and um, and it's all uh, it's all impacted too by the uh, amount that we have in there and and the and the interest rate and whether we have a plan and are sticking to it, which we are and um, the, the percentage of our contribution. We also have a, a very nice growth factor in there. So what we have contributed to, um, so our, the town's contribution to the OPEB plan is significantly higher than our actual contributions added up on a year to year basis because it's uh, invested. We get the benefit of the, of the investment increase. So again, I'd really, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to, be a, a little more knowledgeable about what's was just came out in the actual re report than I feel I am at the moment. So um, if you actually want to schedule a segment to discuss OBEB in, in particular, then I'll be readier another time. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's very interesting. It is very interesting material. I will send you what we have. And then if we wanted to have a discussion, we can do that. Okay. Well, we'll talk with David. I I think that'd be a great thing to to have that aired publicly. I think okay. people know what we're trying to accomplish here, and also what the liability is long term. Yeah, and I think that the uh, it would be good to um, that would be a nice by board one, Carolyn, to have the the discussion on it, and also mm -hmm. involve the select board. So whether whichever committee meets with the other to go through that once, I think would be very beneficial. So we have that. Our, our goal is to have the by board once a month until budget. I mean, until in, until uh, annual town meeting. So that would be the, the next by board. That would be great. Okay. All right. It's a good plan. And, and does the book contain a like a balance sheet of all the of all of these things of of things like OPEB and and reserves and all all of that? It's got a a basic chart which says these are the balances in these accounts. It's not. Uh, it's not a, a an accounting asset sheet. It's just a statement of what the balances are at this point in time. Just like you see at the beginning of any uh, of our um, at our town meetings. Here's what's in stabilization. Here's what's what's in um, CPA. Here's what's in uh, water reserves. Here's what's in sewer reserves. Here's our free cash balance. So it's just it's just that in in this basic budget book. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Anybody have anything else? Any more questions? Okay, that's not um, all. same. Yeah. Before there's there's three more budgets, um, and okay. I don't a nice cover sheet. That's the that's the enterprise funds. Oh right. Um, water and sewer are part of public works, so you're having him anyway in anyways, and you want to talk with that okay. uh, with him about that. And I believe Alex wants to talk about, and, and he should, um, and I know Amy wants to, too, because she's uh, involved in Hadley Media, uh, talk about that budget. It's covered this year. We're necessarily dipping into reserves because there's only one source of income. And it's nothing that we control, although there are, it's, uh, there are uh, I guess we're going to have a new contract as of March. So I think that's a very worthwhile budget to have come in uh, and talk about. Uh, how the future is going to be because we don't know that the increases in what's being paid um, each year are going to probably not cover it. What are we going to do with Hadley Media going forward? Right. So I would add that to your list. Okay. And that's it. And do, is there any report on capital projects that we're looking at year to year or future over the next few years? What? Riley Brennan. Riley Brennan. Sorry about that.
at least call it. Uh, Paul, you can, yeah, I'm sorry, Paul. You were asking about capital. Yeah, I mean, just just so that we have some idea that you know we may have a major expense coming up uh, next year, the year after. Is there a you know a ten year projection of major projects that are known? So you know, we have some school projects. I know we have a fire truck we have to revisit. Yeah, so but we are. We have a working group that we're going to be putting in place. We have been working towards uh, the in in the fall to do most of our capital requests. So okay. we usually put that working group together a little bit later in the planning process, but capital with the capital planning committee will be meeting once or twice during this session right. uh, because we do have a couple items that will be considered capital. One of them is the ladder truck. If you saw that on the warrant last night. Mm -hmm. So we, we are keeping those things in mind and, but we will be putting a plan together um, because we do have some significant projects coming up. Yeah. Well, I think I think it uh, needs to be talked about so people know what's coming. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Going once, going twice, going three times. All right. Need a motion to adjourn. Usually I take that, but anybody else want to go tonight? Motion yeah. to adjourn. Yeah. Go ahead, Jordan. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead, Linda. What else? I should say, is there any any other questions from the audience? <laughs> what do you want from us? You said who you want to meet with. Are you going to take care of scheduling those? Are you asking something of us? Uh, uh, who does the scheduling in the past? I didn't know whether David did that or or if, or if your office did or. It, the, we do. We can do it together in okay. a collaboration. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll start out with next week with either uh, DPW or if they're if that's inconvenient for them and the uh, public safety wants to go that week, we will do that. So yeah, you should I'll, be able. Okay. We'll we'll know by tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there anybody in the public listening who wants to talk? Any questions? Okay. In that case, a motion to adjourn, so. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Andy, you want to second it? Okay. Roll call. Shardul? Yes. Andy? Yes. Paul Benjamin? Yes.